A rescue fund has been set up to help save vital Newcastle institutions left on the brink of collapse by the coronavirus pandemic. Newcastle City Council bosses have revealed plans to give new emergency loans to organisations that have been struggling since the pandemic, including those in the arts and cultural sectors. The Newcastle Culture Investment Fund is a fund that is funded by Newcastle City Council and Community Foundation Tyne and Weir Northumberland uh, manage it on their behalf. And it's a fund for cultural organisations based in Newcastle City Centre, working with residents in the city. And the idea is that they bid for money which will help them to achieve their aims and objectives about connecting to residents. We can't sugarcoat the fact that it is really tough. A lot of organisations will have lost vast amounts of money just by dint of the fact that they haven't been able to open their doors and have people buying tickets for things. So we know we're in a really crucial moment of having to kind of put our money where our mouth is in order to stabilise the sector and help them get back up on their feet. So it's a scary time, but it is also a positive time. It is galvanising people and making them focus on what it is they want to do and who they want to work with. Earlier this month, the government announced a £1.57 billion support package to help protect the arts and cultural sectors. But has it been enough to save institutions institutions in the North East. I don't think we know exactly what's happening with that money that was announced uh, recently. Yes, I think perhaps historically the North East has been overlooked um, for that kind of central government treasury funding. So I think there's a right to be kind of a little bit nervous about it. But obviously there are people up here who are advocating to get some of that money down here. But in terms of the fund that I manage, then kind of even more underlines the value of having people in the sector on the ground who know the organisations that are working and kind of are open to the conversations with new organisations that are kind of developing. So I think, yeah, having kind of that localised sector specific support is kind of quite key.